Hello there, I'm Mike and welcome to Theme Park 101. Today, we'll be taking a look at all the rides, shows and attractions in Europa Park, located in Rust, Germany for 2024. Stick around until the end of the video for my hot tips for visiting the park, as well as a little look at what is coming in the near future. Europa Park opened in 1975 and is owned and ran by Mack Rides, a famous ride manufacturer that have attractions in many theme parks around the world, including Disney and Universal Studios. It includes 19 themed areas, with many showcasing different European countries and features over 100 different attractions, ranging from coasters, dark rides, flat rides and lots of entertainment. As you enter the park, you will head straight into the Germany area that features stunning classic architecture, delicious local food and plenty of shopping locations. The first attraction that you will come to as you turn left after to the entrance is Volatarium, a flying theatre attraction that will take you on a journey through some of Europe's most beautiful sights, including Paris, Venice and the German countryside. Further into the land of Germany, the next attraction is Vintage Cars, a fun outdoor ride that lets you steer your very own vintage car along a powered rail through a selection of beautiful gardens. Next is Elf Ride, an enchanting boat ride that will take you into the world of the elves. Opposite is Jim Button, Journey Through Morrowland, a nice train ride based on the popular German book and movie series. Next up is Puppet Boat Ride, a relaxing outdoor attraction on spinning rafts that include some amazing animatronic puppets. The final two attractions in Germany can also be used to navigate the park. First up is EP Express, an elevated monorail that gives you some great views of the park as well as having stations in Greece, Spain and a special station in the hotel district. Finally, there is the Panorama Train that also gives some amazing views of the park and includes stations in England, Spain and Russia. As with all my guides, I will work my way around the park clockwise which takes us to our next country Ireland. This area is great for the younger visitors and includes a castle, an Irish pub and lots of family friendly attractions. First up is Big Bobby Car Circuit, a great place for kids to blow off some steam while riding a big bobby car. Next is Dancing Dinghy, an indoor swing boat flat ride set to the theme of the lifeboats from the Titanic. Younger visitors will love Sheep Rock, a fun spinning boat ride on water that may leave you dizzy and wet. Nearby is Paul's Playboat, a fun outdoor play area with lots of places to explore on this shipwreck. During the summer months, water features are added, making it a great place to cool down in the hot weather. Other attractions include Old McDonald's Tractor Fun, where the whole family can ride in your very own tractor around lots of exciting scenes. Spinning Dragons, a fun spinning carousel attraction inside dragon themed ride cars. Tower Toe is a small drop tower ride where you will need to pull the rope to decide how high you want to go. And Quips Paddle Tours gives younger ones the chance to navigate around in their own paddle boats. Little Lamb's Land is a small outdoor playground filled with slides and climbing features and Limerick Castle takes it up a notch in a huge indoor playground with a variety of awesome slides taking you back outside. Also within the castle is the Limerick Castle stage that hosts various entertainment offerings throughout the year. The final attraction in Ireland is the Ba Express, an awesome kiddie coaster which is the perfect chance to introduce the little ones to thrill rides. We now head to one of the newest and smallest smallest nations, Liechtenstein. This features just the one attraction, the Balloon Ride, a nice relaxing spinning journey as you ride on board hot air balloons. Next is my home country, England, that along with some rides also includes a replica of the Globe Theatre, an indoor sports playground and a traditional English pub. The first attraction you will come to is Crazy Taxi, a fast spinning ride with the classic London black taxi cabs as the ride cars. Next door is another ride inspired by classic English transportation, the London Bus. This is a great attraction for all the family to enjoy. Next up is the Queen's Diamonds, where you will need to become a thief in this unique laser beam obstacle course. You will need to head inside the arena of football for the next attraction, Football Scooter. This is a classic bumper car ride with the addition of a huge inflatable ball and goals as you work in teams to get the highest score. Nearby is the fantastic Globe Theatre that usually holds variety shows with magicians, acrobats and other entertaining acts. 
On the other side of the land are two more attractions. The first is the British Carousel, a classic handmade attraction that is over 100 years old, where you can ride on a variety of horses and chariots. And the final attraction in England is Silverstone Racetrack, where riders will need to drive around the infamous race course in a variety of different race cars. The next area is Grimm's Enchanted Forest, which features lots of different scenes from the classic Grimm's fairy tales, like Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella, Rapunzel, and many more. There are two attractions in this land, with the first being Dwarf City, a small wagon ride that will take younger riders on an adventure through the land of dwarves, with lots of animatronics on display. Also, you can visit the Enchanted Forest Cinema in Grimm's Library to watch a short film starring the mythical creatures Fina and the Yogi. We now head to another unique land, the Minamoy's Kingdom, which is based on the Luc Besson animated trilogy Arthur and the Minamoy's. This is an indoor land, with its main attraction being Arthur, a family-friendly powered suspended coaster that begins within the kingdom before shooting outside for a breathtaking natural adventure before returning indoors. Other attractions include Poppy Towers, a pair of fun small drop tower rides that offer amazing views of the land. Mulmul's Carousel is a nice relaxing spinning ride that makes use of the flying creatures from Arthur. And finally, there are plenty of playground features within the kingdom that will keep the little ones busy, including the root slides that take you from the root palace through the world of the invisibles. The next area is Austria, and is currently going through a bit of a makeover due to the fire that broke out in the area last year. It includes the oldest roller coaster in the park, Alpine Coaster Enzian. This train themed powered coaster still packs a punch and will take you through a diamond gorge and the whole of Austria twice, as well as intertwining with another great attraction, the Tiroler Log Flume. This will also take you around Austria and through the diamond gorge and includes two big drops that will most likely get you soaked. Stick around until the end of the video to find out what other new attraction is being added to the Austria area. Next up is Josephina's Magical Imperial Journey, a fun boat ride that replaced the previous jungle rafts. This will take you on a royal adventure through the fantasy realm of King Solomon, which also includes some original fictional characters. Another larger boat ride attraction can be found on the same lake and is called the Danube Steamer that replaced the African Queen. The final two attractions in Austria are aimed at younger visitors. Wormchen Wizen Playground is a larger than life outdoor play area perfect for the little ones to blow off some steam. And the Vienna Wave Swing is a huge mushroom themed wave swing attraction that is a fun way to see all of the Austria area. We have finally made it to the far side of the park which is home to many of the resort's hotels and the next area in this guide, Spain. You will be transported to a small Spanish town similar to Sevilla with delicious Spanish food, shows and a few attractions. First up is Columbus Jewel, an indoor Himalaya flat ride that will send you spinning round and round on this fast paced sailing adventure. Next door is Feria Swing, a similar indoor Himalaya flat ride also known as a music express ride but this time you'll be riding in a Spanish carriage. Don't forget you can also find stations for the EP Express and the Panorama Train. For the younger guests they can blow off some steam in the adventure playground, filled with lots of slides and interactive water features. Spain also has a great choice of shows. On the outdoor Spanish stage, you can enjoy the flamenco dancing or the fun puppet show at various times throughout the day. And in the Spanish arena, you can watch the dazzling stunt show, The Return of the Sultan. This includes amazing acrobatics and stunts whilst horse riding, which makes this a fun and unique show. Make sure you catch a showing. Fittingly, next to Spain is Portugal, featuring two attractions. Atlantica Super Splash is a water coaster that begins in a dimly lit fortress before rising 30 meters. Unfortunately, the captain has had too many and the boat will shoot backwards at 80 kilometers an hour before getting back on course and shooting straight into a fun wet splashdown. Perfect for those warm summer days. For those younger than 12, they can enjoy the indoor playground Casa da Aventura. Set over three floors, they can climb, slide and jump in this safe and fun play area. We now head to colder climates and to one of the biggest lands in the park, Iceland. Here is where you can experience legendary Icelandic mythology mixed with futuristic roller coasters perfect for adrenaline junkies. 
we begin with a Blue Fire Mega Coaster, a huge launch coaster that was the first attraction to feature inversions in Europa Park when it opened in 2009. It has four inversions, including a Heartline Roll, a Twisted Horseshoe Roll, and the tallest loop on any launch coaster in Europe. It also includes a dark ride section at the beginning of the ride before being accelerated to 100 km an hour in 2.5 seconds. This is one of the most thrilling attractions in the park. Next is Wodan Timber Coaster, the fantastic wooden roller coaster that includes lots of dips, turns, and plenty of airtime, as well as intertwining with other nearby attractions. It also includes lots of fun effects such as fire, mist, and water, in addition to projection mapping within the indoor sections. During the warmer months, kids will love playing in the Little Island Hangro Water Playground that has lots of slides, pumps, and water fountains. The final attraction in Iceland is Whale Adventures Northern Lights, which begins as a relaxing whale-watching boat tour before mysterious creatures begin to appear, and you have to man the water cannons on this fun splash battle adventure. Also, for an extra fee, you can enjoy a variety of VR experiences at the Yule Go in the Blue Fire Dome. Finally, you can also catch the monorail within Iceland. This is another elevated attraction that gives some amazing views of the park and a great way to travel, as it also has a station within Luxembourg. Next to Iceland is the Scandinavia area, which is the only land that combines a number of countries. Sweden, Norway, Finland, and Denmark are all represented in either the architecture, restaurants, or attractions. Snorri Torren is a fun dark ride that takes you on an underwater water adventure with the cheeky octopus Snorri to Rulantica, which is also the name and theme of Europa Park's on-site water park. This is great fun for the little ones, but can also be enjoyed by all of the family. Next is Fjord Rafting, the river rapids ride that will take you through a picturesque Nordic landscape including mountains, whitewater rapids, and maybe even a troll or two. Similar to the other water-based attractions in the park, you'll most likely get wet, so make sure you come prepared. The final ride in Scandinavia is Vinjama, the giant Viking swing boat attraction that will swing riders up to an almost 90 degree angle on either side. For a more thrilling experience, try to grab a seat on the far ends of the boat. Heading back to the southern point of the central lake within the park, the former African-inspired area is now known as Adventureland. There still remains two dining locations, as well as another water playground that is great fun for the little ones to cool off during the summer months. Close to Adventureland is our next country, the Netherlands. With the classic Dutch scenery and some smaller attractions, this is a great land for families with younger children. For kids aged 3 to 8, they can enjoy mini scooters miniature bumper car attraction, or take to the skies on the Red Baron as they pilot the famous airplanes on this spinning ride. And for all the family, they can join in the fun on Coffee Copters, a classic teacup ride, and the Flying Dutchman, a Peter Pan themed Himalaya ride. The most popular attraction in the Netherlands is the classic dark boat ride Pirates in Batavia. You'll set off on a journey to explore a pirate raid at the Dutch colonization of an Indonesian port town in the 17th century. With a real true backstory and lots of special effects and audio animatronics, you may be mistaken that you are in a theme park in Orlando or Paris, and similarly, you can dine in Bambo Bay, which overlooks this great boat ride. The final attraction is the interactive show Junior Club Studios. Join the Europa Park characters in making a real music video. With the use of music, dance, and film technology, visitors of all ages can become a star in this fun experience. It's now time to head to the small land of Luxembourg, which is home to Food Loop, the world's first restaurant that delivers your food on your very own specialized coaster track. You can also hop on the monorail for an elevated view of Europa Park or use it to travel to Iceland. Next to Luxembourg is Russia, and you'll probably notice Euromer, the space-themed spinning coaster that sends guests up the specially designed mirrored towers before simulating a trip into space and re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. Although it doesn't feature any inversions, it is still a fun and exhilarating attraction. Next, you can try something a little bit more relaxing, the dark ride Slay they ride Snowflake. You'll join Snowflake, Two Baby Bears, and King Winter into an enchanting fairy tale world set in a winter wonderland. 
or head to Lada Autodrom to drive your own car around this fun outdoor driving circuit, perfect for the little ones. Also in Russia, you can catch the Panorama train that can take you to Germany, England or Spain. The next land is Croatia that officially opens at the end of April 2024. Stick around until the end of the video to find out what to expect in this exciting new land. We now head to Greece and along with the historic facades and delicious Mediterranean food, you'll find a great selection of attractions. First up is the fantastic water coaster Poseidon. Take an adventurous journey through Greek mythology as the god of the oceans guides you through his underwater world before heading outdoors in this great mixture of roller coaster and water ride elements. Kids that have a height over 1 meter will love the family friendly coaster Pegasus. This winged horse soars around and through the beautiful Greek village and is a great way to introduce the younger ones to coasters. Next is Cassandra's Curse, the madhouse attraction that will leave you confused and disorientated as the room spins along with the ride, making you lose any sense of direction. The final ride in Greece is Atlantis Adventure. This is a fun interactive shooting dark ride which will take you through the lost city as you shoot at various targets. This is a great attraction to compete with your family and friends to see who can get the highest score. There is also the final station for the EP Express, which is a great place to head back near the entrance of the park or to the hotel district. Finally, in Greece, you can head to the Ice Stadium to watch the fantastic ice skating show Energize. With award-winning figure skaters, beautiful choreography, and a nice storyline, this is a show not to be missed. Our third to last country is Switzerland, where you can enjoy some tasty raclette or fondue and head to the lint shop for some delicious chocolate. Don't let this quaint mountain village fool you though, as you can try the Matterhorn Blitz, which is a Mac original wild mouse coaster. You'll head out of the traditional Swiss chalet before descending and spinning around this rugged mountain ride. You can also grab some thrills on the Swiss Bob Run, a classic bobsled coaster that sends you down the mountain in a steel tube with no tracks. To round out Switzerland, you can try the Jungfrau Glacier Flight, another spinning plane ride that will leave you dizzy with joy. For our penultimate area, we head to one of the largest lands in the park, France. With lots of dining and shopping locations, places to explore, and plenty of attractions, you could easily spend a whole day in this area alone. We begin with a huge silver star. This is a B&M hyper coaster that is the highest and biggest in Europe and reaches a height of 73 meters and a top speed of 130 kilometers per hour. Similar to other hyper coasters, it doesn't need any inversions to add to the thrill as its size is enough to scare even the bravest of riders. You can head inside the Epcot styled white ball to enjoy the indoor roller coaster Eurosat Can Can Coaster. This has a Moulin Rouge theme that will take you to Paris, up the Eiffel Tower and then down a fun indoor track layout with a few themed elements and classic French music. For an upcharge of 7 euros you can also enjoy this coaster with a special VR experience that has the Phantom of the Opera theme and is a great immersive experience. Next you can try the Euro Tower which is a classic Intamin observation tower that gives you amazing views of the park and the beautiful surrounding countryside. This is a nice relaxing ride perfect for all the family to enjoy. Nearby is the fun dark ride Madame Frudenreich Curiosities. On the Omnimover ride cars you'll come face to face with all of Madame Frudenreich's dinosaurs and other amazing collections. It uses a great mixture of audio animatronics and other effects resulting in a classic dark ride attraction that can't be missed. Finally you can also head to the 4D Magic Cinema that has a nice selection of 4D movies. Currently you can choose from Chaos in Wonderland, an original story set in Europa Park or the new Voltron that showcases a new discovery made by Nikola Tesla that is also a teaser for the upcoming attraction coming in 2024. We have now come 
to the final land in Europa Park, Italy. Of course, it features delicious Italian cuisine and plenty of places to explore. Attractions include the Ghost Castle, an Omnimover dark ride that takes you through a variety of different scary scenes that includes a great mixture of screens, audio animatronics, and other frightening effects. This is currently going through maintenance, which may include some updated scenes, but should be reopening in summer 2024. A little less scary and perfect for the younger ones, you can enjoy Piccolo Mondo, a dark ride that takes you away in a gondola as you see some classic arts of Italy, recreated in animal form. You can see a squirrel singing opera and a dog painting the Mona Lisa, which is great fun for all the family. The final ride in Italy is Volo da Vinci, a suspended panorama ride that takes flight on one of da Vinci's flying machines and gives great views of Italy and Germany. The remaining attractions in Italy come in the form of shows. First up is at the Europa Park Teatro, an indoor theatre that plays a variety of shows throughout the year. Currently, you can enjoy Mysterio, a magician creating thrilling illusions and breathtaking tricks. The other entertainment offering is Teatro Bella Bolo, that is home to the show Carnival in Venice, which has over 70 electronic birds disguised in Venetian masks as they celebrate Carnival in this unique but brilliant show. So that wraps up all the right shows and attractions in Europa Park. Before we take a look at what is coming in the future, my hot tips for visiting the resort is expect to spend at least two days in the park as there is so much to see and do that you couldn't possibly fit it all in one day. Try to arrive early and ride Silver Star, Euromer or Arthur as they usually have the longest wait times throughout the day. And finally, make sure you check out the official Europa Park website or app for an updated entertainment schedule or to see if there are any ride closures during your visit. As for new attractions coming to the park, Europa Park are almost ready to open the brand new country, Croatia, which will feature a new launch coaster called Voltron Nevera, powered by Rimac. This has been created in collaboration between Mac Rides and Bugatti Rimac to produce Europe's longest multi-launch coaster that includes seven inversions and the world's steepest launch. Along with the coaster will be all new dining and shopping locations, as well as a fully functional audio animatronic of Nikola Tesla welcoming guests to the land. The Croatia area and its attractions will be open from the 26th of April 2024. The reconstruction of the Alpine Coaster Enzian and the Tirola Log Flume is well underway, as well as a new walkthrough attraction called Yomi Adventure Trail that will include rope bridges, climbing elements and slides and will intertwine with other attractions within the land. The new and old attractions will be opening on May 14th, 2024. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you would like to help support the channel then consider subscribing for free or joining as a member for exclusive early access to videos and other exciting perks. If you want to know more about other parks in Europe, then check out these guides here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Theme Park 101.